we are back with another brand new mold but don't worry this one isn't jewelry <laughs> i only ordered this a few days ago from us amazon make sure my address isn't showing i haven't seen it before again i browse amazon us quite a bit I haven't seen it in the UK yet, but I will double check. Come on. Okay, so this is a lantern mold. And it comes with a screw fit, which obviously screws in there. These will be ideal for indoors or outdoors, but if you're gonna put them outdoors, make sure they're under a shelter. But these, these are really ideal for like wedding, um, stuff you know wedding planning or parties but we're just gonna it comes with some light sets as well I think some are colored and some are yellow let's have a look so you get a few in there but you can always pick these sets up really cheap it's just making sure that they fit inside the actual pieces let's see what we've got let's just pull out some tabs Oh, so they've got different settings. I'm not sure on the flashing, you know. <laughs> I think there are some coloured ones. Is this one a coloured one? Yeah, that you can see. Right. So exciting. <laughs> Let's get mixing. Right, so. Ideally for this, we want to be using a deep pool resin. But if you haven't got a deep pour resin, I mean, you really, you, you're you going to be pushing the flash cure with standard resin and that can be dangerous. We don't want that to happen. So I'm going to do this one in two pours, which is probably still a bit of a push for my resin. But I'm going to be very careful and keep an eye on it and just keep coming back and checking just to make sure it's not getting too hot. But we are using the let's resin collab resin i didn't really want to use that resin for this because i want to keep that for my petri ideally but i haven't got any other standard resin here it's due but i haven't yet received it so i'm just gonna i was too excited <laughs> i wanted to just give it a try so i'm gonna keep it plain and simple just clear resin in this but you could do or should i actually do something else hmm Pause for four, I think. Whilst I'm thinking about that, massive shout out to my channel members. Anyone who's bought me a coffee or, or uh, <laughs> tongue tied or a super thanks. It's very much appreciated helping me support, helping to support my channel. Right, let's carry on mixing and think about what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it clear because we do need to do it in two layers, but you could do lots of different colours or you know, you could use the let's resin pigment dyes to to color the resin but we're just going to keep it plain and simple and i've i've got a lot i've mixed this really fast because i do want some bubbles to be in this just to add to the effect so i'm looking at filling this but i also need to fill the lid so i might have to mix up some more looking to fill this about halfway just so that it doesn't push that flash cure And I might have to just mix up a little bit more for the lid. This is taking it quite a bit. Right, I think that's about halfway. Let's see, I don't think I'm going to have enough for the lid. Might have to just mix up a little bit more. Yeah, let's do that. Saying that. I'm gonna do the lid in two, two parts as well. So I'm now gonna go and cheat and speed up this first pour and we'll be back to top them up shortly. Okay, we're back for the second pour. This is still a little bit tacky, but it's okay. I think it's better to do two pours if the resin is still tacky. Now I should have measured my mold before but again, I was a little bit excited. <laughs> so I'm just hoping I've got enough in my second batch to fill it right up. I suppose it won't matter as long as that's covered. 
and we can kind of get a nice base we should be okay a couple more streaks in my resin then we're gonna pour okay let's hopefully top this up I had some bubbles a lot of the bubbles did rise and pop but I'm hoping we're gonna have some in there just for a, a little bit of a different detail I don't normally do bubbles <laughs> but for this I think it'll be fine just add to the effect I think I'm gonna I'm not gonna pour it right to the top because I am still worried that I'm going way over my working depth for my resin just be careful take more time with yours now I'm just pouring that my hands not at the best angle just pouring hopefully I've got enough to fill this lid I might have to mix up a little bit more the lid is definitely going to be important to have full up okay so I'll top that up a little bit more a couple of millimeters and the lid is now full so I'll see you for the demold right we're back I've got a feeling these are going to be fun to demold hopefully we've got some bubbles never thought I'd hear myself saying that we're gonna have a pop come on there we go there we go <laughs> right now for the lid I think this one's gonna be a bit trickier it's got that rim around there you never know it might be easy it's not going to be is it should maybe have used some soapy water come on there it goes so it's got the start of a, the beginning of a hole so you could tie that up so let's get a set of our lights we need to detangle them there we go now I would suggest if you're if you do get this mold and you well don't go leaving that screwed in because that will set you need to let it cure for a couple of days probably to set solid maybe spray some mold release around there just to make sure that it doesn't sticking on itself if that makes sense and I had another idea you can buy um, diffusion like um, plastic colored plastic let me grab some a typical I can't find mine when I need it there we have it really cool I'm not going to screw mine all the way in because it's not fully cured but you can tie these up let's see if I can get it screwed in a bit for you there we go so it's still a little bit loose there we have it super cool well again give the video a thumbs up drop me a comment if you haven't subbed hit that button for me there See you for the next one. Bye for now.